can you two be hating? <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You got myself, Manny. You got Chino. It's kind of trying to hide a little bit. What's up, fellas? So we'll let it fill in a little bit. I know, again, we, we kind of came back last week. Um, somewhat a little rusty, I guess, but I think it was a pretty fun show. Stop from there, guys. If you don't know what we do here, we are r, r Comics in Houston, and we show off all the new books coming out tomorrow for new comic book day. So we get them a day early. You know, we, we get to spar ourselves. We get to go home and read some of these books. Um, and sometimes in this show, we'll give you some 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 uh, some uh, spoilers and previews. So stop from that. Uh, we'll wait if somebody comes in, and then we'll, we got contract we are, people already yeah, in the house. Yeah, we have we have our this subscriber here at, here at the shop too. Control people, man. What's up, man? Yeah, he's always a he's always a loyal, loyal uh, sub, man. So what's what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Um, let me forward this real quick, somebody. Cause they were mad at me last time because we we didn't forward the um. What's up, Jigs? What's up, Jay? All right, we got a few people coming in here already, guys. Um, it's, it's so damn cold. I got my monster. <laughs> I got my coffee. Man, he's just wired up, man. He's just crazy. It was hot as hell yesterday, and it got cold as hell today. So, um. It was I, it was hot up until four like p.m. at four p.m. Then it got it suddenly got windy, it got windy as shit. Uh, my other uh, brother uh, Victor was wearing my my oh, there it goes. Batman sweater. My Batman sweater, I'm trying to look like a uh, Bruce Wayne, but he don't look the part. No, so aside from that, guys, we got so we have comic straw people in the house. We have Jay in the house. We have Jigs in the house. We have Justin Reekin in the house. Um, Welcome, guys. And you know what? The chat here is a little bit slower, so I'm going to look at my phone. We have Ryan Pond in the house. We have Lone in the house. What's up, fellas? So Jay I think today what we'll do is, um, what happened? Jay said we're freezing tonight. Yeah, man. It's going to be like this for the next few days, man, which I, I don't mind. I love the cold weather. It's just the inconvenience behind it is is I have dogs, and I got to take them out. And Oh, yeah, that sucks. That yeah. does suck, man, because it's freezing outside them damn dogs. It's like they take longer to... To use the restroom when it when, when it's um when it's cold outside. And, and the other thing is like if, if I'm feeling lazy and I just want to work out at home, I can't because garage is cold as shit. Yeah, so gotta go to the gym, bro. Um, just where you said, man, bro. Of course you're gonna love the cold, bro. You you in Florida, bro. You don't you don't get this kind of weather, man. Nah, yeah, your cold is what like seventy five degrees, give or take. <laughs> uh, for us, man, it was like in the twenties this this morning, it which I know it's cold in other areas, but for us, I don't like cold. The humidity um, makes it worse, though. It, it makes it more uh, feel colder. So if it's thirty here, uh, I've been to Chicago and I've been to to uh, Denver and I've been out there when it's snowing. So I've been at really cold temperatures. It, it's not the same when when, it, when you're dealing with Houston. That is pretty cold. He said we're getting cold fifties tonight. Oh, man, um, that's, that's 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 he still wears shorts, man. He <laughs> still wears shorts. And quick plug, um, after we go, usually um. Just to reckon them boys that they go on and, and they have a show too. So if you guys are not set up these guys, sell them up, man, because these guys were holding it down when we're up, we're we're uh, MIA. So you know it's always a good good uh it's always good to set up the, the community, you know, and help out the community. But I think what we'll do today, guys, is um That's a feeling. Yeah, Philly. Philly. Yeah, oh, Philly's shit. cold as hell. We'll start today with DC guys, because we don't have Burke with us today. I think today's his birthday, so I have a birthday, bro. Uh, we'll start with DC guys. Man, you know, Nate. Hey, dude, I've been in Chicago, man. I've been out there when it's uh, windy, windy as, as hell and like negative. Windy city, bro. Yeah, negative zero two, man. And, and, and it's, it's actually, that's probably the coldest place I've ever been to. I don't right like, now. I don't like traveling to the cold. So I, I usually travel out to like, a, you know, a beach resort or man, something like exotic, that. exotic, so. man. This guy's exotic, man. He'll go to uh, the Dominican Republic. He'll go to Colombia. He'll go to those places. I don't man. know what he's talking about, man. Uh, so... All right, with that, guys, we'll start with this. First book we have is gonna be, and they're not in order. They might be, but they're they're all over the place. It's gonna be Tales from the from the Dark Multiverse number one, Blackest Night. And it's a pretty cool looking cover, man. And honestly, these th these uh Dark Multiverse storylines have been really fun. Um, they're kind of like what ifs for the DC. Um, the well, DC. I'm gonna be reading that one tonight too, man. I, I like the last one with with Lois Lane. Yeah, Lois Lane, man. They they. Actually, you're doing a really good job with those. Yeah, and I'll give you guys a little preview from the inside. I mean, the art is is is, is pretty damn cool. It looks like that's Lobo right there. So, uh, you guys, I know there's there's people that are Lobo fans. So, there you go. So yeah, this is a pretty cool book, man. Um, again, I think they've been killing it with with the uh, with these what ifs. Uh, you know, that's what I call them. So 
That's a pretty cool look looking book. The next book we have is gonna be Raw's Al Ghul and the Outsiders, but really that's a that's a dope ass cover. But really it's you got Wolverine in there? <laughs> it's Batman the Outsiders number seven. And I have forgot about these, this book, honestly, guys. So uh um the pretty cool thing about this is it has an acetate cover, so you have a cover that overlays on top of another cover. This is kind of like a plastic material. The, the the main cover's fire to me, so that's a pretty cool looking cover. And I forgot about this book, man. But I know when I was when I was reading this book, it was actually pretty fun. But so many books came out afterwards that you just kind of lose track of it. So um, when they take that big, it, it seems like they took a pretty pretty decent little break in between, or maybe I just fell off. But uh, pretty cool looking cover, guys. What's up, big old man? Yeah, we're back, bro. We 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 had some uh, a little break, man. But we should we should be back to our regular schedule here from from here on here on out yeah we should be here for sure on tuesdays for the live show and then we're gonna try to squeeze in some auctions here and there it's just getting back into the swing of things man uh the next book we have to be the batman's grave number two pull it out real quick I, you know slip it out the it's a cool looking red plastic yeah it's a pretty cool looking cover man um i did not pick up issue number one but i had some guys here at the shop picked it up and i'm i'm interested to see what they thought about it so if you guys are reading this book let me know what's up man we got comic book genius in the house saying, uh, hey, Chino Manny, how, <laughs> how's it going? Cold as hell. The Helpers Bros, again, they, these guys, they're, they're, they'll, if they, if they show up, they'll show up right, right within, you know, 20, 30 minutes in, uh, when the show's coming up because they're working, man. They're, you know, and honestly, I don't, I don't even really consider those guys helpers, man. I mean, those guys are just really, you know, they're just here having a good time and, and, and they're just enjoying the show and they just get to get, get the show live in person. Uh, and they do help out, so I guess they are helpers. Yeah, they are, man. I mean, we just, you know, they're known as, a, we have the janitor. He hasn't seen the rest of them in about two weeks. Yeah, the, the janitor, which is going to be uh, Old Man Paul. And then we got, we have, you know, the kingpin himself, Julio. So, you know, he's usually supposed to be here to bodyguard, but. Man, I don't think they want to come out with this weather, man. It's cold out there, man. I didn't want to come to the show, man. <laughs> I didn't want to come to the show. And, and we're not far from here either. All right, so this is gonna be the variant for Batman's Grave number two. Um, I think I'm digging the first cover better. This is not a bad looking cover though. I mean, it's it's a pretty pretty cool looking cover. Kind of like Batman's flying through the sky. But aside from that, I think I like that A cover better. Um, I don't know what you guys might like. He said I thought Paul worked there. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, they don't work here, man. Uh, I think he used to work at a comic book shop a long, long time ago, man, about 100 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a minute since he worked at a comic book shop. Um, I think he did work, and I think he said he was really good at, at, at bagging and boarding. Um, he was really good at doing that. I think he said, he, you know, he, he can teach anybody how to bag him. So we're we'll waiting for that video, bro. We might have a, do that, him do a demonstration one day. Yeah. Uh, we all said, uh, I'm a helper volunteer. My, dude, you know, that, that's the cool thing about that's it, cool man. Thing. You know, um, these guys do come. A lot of them do come out here and help out. We've had events. We've had the uh, com the new comic book day, and then we had the October Hollywood uh, Hollywood, Hollywood Fest. Hollywood Fest, and look at and that. And they'll come out here and they'll want to cook and they'll want to, you know, help out and just be here, you know, just chopping it up with people. So yeah. it's pretty cool, man. So Lone Espinosa, nice looking out, bro. He's like Hulk smashes the crap out of that like button, man. Comic addiction. How much money do you need, dude? You know, that's a very good question, man. I don't really have an answer for that, bro, because I would think. Well, I, I can give you like an estimate, like what I think is safe. It just depends on on, on how big you're trying to go. Um, what do you think? You know, I mean, it just I think it really depends on the scope of the, of the shop. I think if you have a good collection, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. um, it really it's gonna depend on your area. Um, if it's like new books, I, I really think that just to get started. Um, Give or take, if you want to be conservative, you know, you, you can get about $600 worth of, of comics a week. So that will put you at about $2,800 a month. On top of that is rent. We're doing that math. So on top of that, you have rent, which is another, you know, maybe $1,500. So that's $5,000. So I would think on a safe bed, about $75,000 to start a comic store. And that's just so you don't have to worry about making the bills and paying the bills every single month. Yeah, because month. typically when you sign a lease, they usually get you for the first month and the, and the last month. Sometimes they even request like up to like two months or yeah. three months in advance. Um, my estimate is, is, is if you want to do really, really small, you probably need about a solid 30, 30,000. But you're looking at maybe pouring a few books in there, here and there. But then you got to look at it from this perspective. 
you know, if you order less in the beginning, diamond, and then we'll give you a, 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 discount. a discount, like an introductory discount for whatever you order. But you have to maintain a certain amount of, of order so you can keep that same discount. So if you start small, man, it's tricky, man, because then you're, you're not going to get such a, uh, uh, you're not going to get a big discount on the book. Well, you, need to, you need to go heavy because you need to get inventory. Yeah. So that's why that's why in the beginning, I, you know, if like Manny said, it just depends on that. But I think if you want to be safe on the business end, 75K, 80K can get you going. Yeah, and, ha and is, have a good collection so you can kind of like use that to sell in the beginning. Yeah, yeah bring because you're going to bring in people that, that want to buy the, the, the Silver Age books. You know, you're going to have those people walk in. Maybe not many, but you're going to have those. So, I mean, and you are going to have to get rid of some of your books. Yeah, um, so he's saying he was thinking about 150 to 200,000. It really depends on the area. It really depends on the area. And, I mean, if you factor in like the bigger, the bigger books and then your collection, you know, if he's giving you about 75, 80,000, you know, your collection is probably worth a good solid, you know, 10, 15, 20,000, give or take. So, yeah, you're looking at maybe about 100,000 just to get started, man. So it's tricky, man. Um, we're learning as this is. But, yeah, it, like it all depends too. Does you, do you cater to new books, you know, new releases? Or do you cater to like people that look for like, you know, Silver Age books, Bronze Age books and so on? It's a hard business, man. I'm going to tell you this. Um, it's a very hard business um i don't want to take take up too much of the segment um yeah we'll jump but, back to the books right now but but it is a hard business man because you you're ordering books for people and and sometimes those people that they're not going to pay man so um you just gotta make peace with that and i'm not saying that happens to here a lot i just i just hear about it because we're in houston we know all the owners and you know um it's just it's, just, it's a very hard business man it's not like your regular retail store where where people come in and are buying, buying nonstop books, you know, right now with the holidays, you, you're seeing a dip, you know, you're seeing two or three months of people not really buying books, man. They're buying Christmas. Yeah. Games. And not only that, yeah. even, in, even with, with diamond, the, the, you know, even like the, the books, you know, it's, there's not as many books as whenever a few months ago when everything was hot, they were bringing out like all these new series at the same time. So, um, no, don't that's worry a good about question, it, bro. Because everybody asks us, bro. It's a good question. Like I said, man, if you want more more information and, and, and more more one on one, hit us up on Instagram, bro. We'll, we'll talk to you, man. Again, yeah, for sure. We we can't. The only thing I can say is that for us, we don't feel the the negatives of the comic book store because we don't depend off of it. You know, we have uh the boy the boy who had seven out here last week. Um, cool dude, really cool dude. Yeah, guys. really really cool cool dude, man. And. You know, he was out here and he was telling us like, man, you know, you have a cool setup and, you know, just just in questions sure. about it. And we're like, you know what? We don't really depend on it, man. So we can we're, we, we're a little bit more fruitful with it. But if we had to, like, stay stay on it, I don't think I, it wouldn't be a, a, a business that I think would allow me to break away like I do now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. So and it, it does require a lot of damn time. So what's oh what's up, Bill? It's been a minute, bro. How you been, brother? And and more for us, we've we've been missing the national. I like that that little uh, image on on your on your display name. Joker. Yeah. So aside from that, guys, let's jump back on the books. It's gonna be Catwoman number seventeen. And again, this is acetate cover. Um, this is actually a pretty cool looking cover. That main cover, you can kind of see Catwoman looking in the mirror. She she has a reflection of all of Batman's family, basically. Look at that boy Pope, man. Watch how that work, man. That's how you do it, man. You, you, you take it to the man, bro. You get get you the free minutes. But then you kind of see her darker side with all the villains on the backside. So this is actually a pretty dope looking cover, man. Again, acetate cover, guys. So, you know, these covers are pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool to, to collect. Uh, my, my honest opinion. And then if there's anything that happens in these books, even better. I want to collect the next one. Right there. The next one looks good. You see, I'm not, I'm not really digging this cover B. So Chino likes to cover B. I kind of preferred it better when our, our journal was doing the cover, but it is what it is, guys. Um, Chino likes this cover. Um, again, Chino doesn't have really good taste, and it happens. Not now. I'm talking with you. Man, you like man, you like the guys in the covers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So let's do the pretty small, man. You know, uh, the next book we have is going to be another acetate cover, and this is going to be a whole theme for DC. They're doing a lot of this acetate covers. So you have Detective Comics uh, 1015. And it's pretty cool. You kind of see Batman looking at Mrs. Freeze. Um, and then you open the cover to, to reveal the second cover. And then you see Mrs. Freeze looking at Batman in that little kind of like that water chamber. So, and she looks, she looks pretty damn good. So this no is wonder, not cover. No, no wonder homeboy went mad, huh? I mean, yeah, you know, that's his, that's his love of his life, you know? The villain says, you know, I have to take covers. Man, you know, I, I like them, man. I, I think it's something refreshing. 
that they're trying out. I haven't really seen them uh, on the it's, Marvel side. It's been a minute since they've done that, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. And and it's pretty cool, man. You get two covers, you know, for the price of one. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a chance that that's a cold cover. I agree with you, man. Especially with the way it is in here. You said it's cold as hell, dude. So, um, then we have the variant for Detective Comics. And this is this cover's okay, guys. Again, if I was going to buy one, I would buy the acetate cover. That's just my opinion. I think you get more on that cover than you do on this one. But, you know, pick your poison on this one, you know. The next book we have is going to be Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number three. Oh, I saw what you did there. Look at that. What? Pick your poison. In the pick your poison. Boom. Number three. So oh, this is going to be Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number three. It's going to be cover A. Uh, that's an okay looking cover, guys. And this is something like I think DC is kind of leading towards the movies, kind of something similar because they're, they're, they're talking a lot about doing a, a Harley Quinn and a Poison Ivy movie. Or you can get the connecting covers. I think that's one of each. I like these covers better. Yeah, I, I think right now, man, as, as far as collecting, one of the coolest things is the connecting covers, man. I think that is something that we've been really missing kind of the, the, the window on these. I think the collect what the connecting covers. I think the cool thing about that is that it kind of uh, it elongates the lifespan of of that book because in a way, you know, it's kind of cool to see two covers connect, and then it kind of gives it more like a selling purpose, and, and you know, whether it be today or even long term. Uh, I think if I had to pick a, pick my poison, I would pick the the connecting covers over the main cover, but you know, it is what it is. These three, I bet you that's uh, I bet you that's uh. That's Josh. That's gotta be Josh. Look, he has three point right there. So that's my nephew right there. What's up, bud? All right, the next book we have is gonna be R W B Y. Um, it's okay looking cover, guys. Josh is coming to work, man. That's what he's doing. And and yeah, Pope said connected covers display sick stuff. They do, man. They actually do do display a, a a lot of cool stuff out there, man. And you see, I'm digging the variant on this one. Um. I think this is, this is a dope ass cover, guys. I want to say, I could be wrong. I'm not even going to say who, who the artist is. If you guys know, please let me know. Is that Jenny Prison? No, no. That, that looks more like could be Art Germ or, or Chew. Um, but you guys probably know more than I do on this one. But I think it's a pretty nice looking cover. So I know. Cover by, I will pick this one up. I know, Paul. Paul, where you at, bro? He's out there sniping, bro. Yeah, he's out there watching. He's he's out there just. Uh, villain said Art Germ. Art Germ. There you go, villain. Um, the next book is going to be Gotham City Monsters, number three. And this book, honestly, guys, fell off the face of the earth for us. I think we have one subscriber to it, and it is what it is, you know? Um, pretty cool looking cover, though, with, with Batwoman on, on the cover. I like her whole setup with the red hair and everything. I think she looks pretty She looks pretty dope. Anybody watching the show, man? I heard it finally picked up. I haven't watched it, but I heard that the last issue kind of picked it up because it wasn't, it wasn't the show that the, great. The show or the? The show. I'm talking about the show. I haven't read the book. That's Gotham City Monsters, though. So uh, we had probably four or five subscribers, and then it went down to one. So I don't know what that means. I like the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next book's gonna be pretty cool. It's pretty cool, man. This is this is one I'm looking forward to, especially if you like that black label, and then you kind of like kind of like you know scarier stuff, a little more horror stuff. You have the Dollhouse Family number one. It's gonna be by Joe Hill. And this cover alone looks so damn cool, man. It reminds me so much of a. Uh, That's interesting. Yeah, this is this is a dope ass cover, man. And then Chino, you know, Chino kind of, I think he would he would enjoy this if not his wife. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll she likes that just, horror just, stuff. Just for the wife, man. Well, that's cover A. Cover B. Dude, cover B is damn cool, man. She's gonna make me buy them all. Check this one out. Look at that one, Chino. Yeah, that looks really good. So you see, this looks this is kind of like a darker tone. Uh, this is more like uh, this is black label, guys. And as you know, Joker movie was black label per se. So you know, with this Joe Hill, with the with the storyline that Joe Hill is doing, these are getting a lot of hype, and people are assuming and speculating that it's going to get picked up. Some of these books are going to get picked up for shows, because I I, I want to say that that's the son of Stephen King. So as you may know, Stephen King has quite a bit of movies. <laughs> so the next book we have is going to be Hawkman: The Infected. And this is a dope cover, guys. This is a just a fire cover by all day. So, and you know, the villain said cover B is fire or yeah. sick. I agree. And then Chap said basket full of heads was good. And I think it was, yeah, it was kind of, it, it, it's kind of slow, but it's building up to something. And I can get behind that. So again, this is Hawkman, the the infected number 
number 18. It's a dope cover, guys. I think this is going to be the first uh, appearance. I'm not, I might be, I might be wrong, but of, of the kind of like the, the Hawkman who laughs. So pretty cool. That's the first section of, of DC. Oh, shit. We got more DC? Yeah. DC kind of picked it up a little bit, man. Yeah, DC was heavy this week, then. Yeah, because usually they, they kind of, they were usually kind of small. It would be like maybe five bucks. Uh, this next book is going to be Captain Code and the Rogues. But again, acetate cover. So this is in reality, issue number 82 of The Flash. Uh, it's okay looking cover. I think, I, again, I, I prefer the acetate cover. And this is something that if you guys are collecting the, the acetate cover, you're going to pick this one up anyways. The villain speaks, we listen. He said, what do you say? Oh, you want to see the interior art? Or is there something going on here that I might be missing, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where you saw Oh, wow. Oh, so this is this is not even acetate. Oh, this is acetate cover. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, so then cover A is pretty damn cool. But the interior cover is beyond fire, dude. Golly. That is stupid nice. So, villain, damn, dude. So, I guess... um That probably won't last in the shelves. Yeah. And I know a lot of people probably pick up Hawkman, but you got to pick it up for that damn cover, man. That cover it's, just, is it's, it's just that universe right now, man. Anything that has to do with the Batman Who Laughs, that universe of those guys coming in here and just wrecking, coming in here, or coming to that world and wrecking, <laughs> coming in here. And wrecking uh, everything, man, is pretty cool. So we have um, the Tor Crunch said the Mass Take covers are nice. Yeah, they're damn cool, man. Uh, and again, guys, don't forget to hoax smash the damn like button. Oh, yeah, they must not want a free giveaway. I guess I guess they don't like free giveaways. There's going to be Flash, 82 The Variant. Uh, again, my money's probably would be on the Aztec cover, but this is not a bad-looking cover, guys. I like that white on red. It looks, it, it kind of pops off the cover pretty cool. I think cool. DC said, you know what, we're not we're not taking a break during the holidays, man. We want people to spend. Yeah, DC's like, yeah, they're, they went heavy this Wait, year. We need, think... to we need to make up for Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think DC's almost as, as, as big as uh, our Marvel stack, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is also going to be an acetate cover. Is Dark Side is Dark Sid or Dark Side and the Justice League of Odyssey? But you pop open this cover. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, amazing. so it's pretty cool, man. So this is Justice League Odyssey number sixteen or fifteen, I mean, and that's a dope looking cover too, man. Is that for Cyborg? <clears throat> that looks like Cyborg and, and Starfire. So another one that honestly, man, the cover kind of sells it, you know. But the cover B. Oh well, look, Pope wants to give himself away. He said. What is it? Oh no, he said, "Ooh, I'm free." Okay, I guess oh, it's off of work. Okay. I'm I free. guess he was trying to give himself for free. Hey, if anybody wants to poke, claim him on the on the on the chat. Uh, this one here is gonna be fire, guys. This is a Lucio Perillo cover. So you know, dark side, drawn by the man. This is this is a cover by all day. This is a badass cover, guys. Golly, and you know, let me pull it out the bag because I think you can, you can see it better, guys. Check that out. <laughs> what do you think about that? Replace Chino's face? Nah. I, I just looks like that looks like a better Chino. All right, so we got East Town Con. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? We have Closet Geek in the house. What's up? What's up, man? Oh, How yeah, you doing? Yeah, I've seen you around, man. So welcome to the chat, man. Hopefully. Hopefully you enjoy our show today. We got Hialeah Comic Bro. He says it's all the '90s all over again. True, mm -hmm. but I like the '90s, bro. All the all, all everything comes back, bro. Everything from the past comes back. Look at all. The, uh, I don't know if you guys buy any shoes, but I buy shoes. And look at all the Jordans. They they keep refreshing them and they keep bringing them back. They do throwbacks and boom, they sell like crazy, man. So yeah, you got Tom Bookman saying that he's picking up that uh Perillo cover all day. The next book we have is gonna be the Cheetah number eighty-two. Acetate cover again, guys. It's really going to be Wonder Woman 82. And she's tied up. So that's pretty cool. She's using the lasso of, uh, is it the truth or whatever? Using it on Wonder Woman. Pretty cool looking cover, man. Again, DC's kind of doing something pretty cool with these covers, man. Then you have cover B. Cover B's pretty cool too, guys. Um, got Wonder Woman. Long said, any news on all the Wonder Woman 750 covers? The which one? All the Wonder Woman on all Wonder Woman 750 covers. Uh, I hold on, hold on. I think the villain might know. It's first appearance of Wonder Woman, the female four horsemen. Let me see. 
Let's check. Might as well. It doesn't hurt. Bought this damn thing open. Don't worry, train page. Chino, entertain him, Chino. Say something funny. Mm, well, I'm trying to see two, man. Billy, when are you coming out here, bro? He came out here the other day. Yeah, I know he came. We weren't here. I don't know. Maybe in this car. I don't know. I don't see it, though. You just have to buy it, man. Hey, you got to buy it, bro. All right. This is pretty cool. Uh, so DC has his own, like, kind of like dollar books now. So it's going to be Blackest Night number one. So this is pretty quick. And this is, this is a dope cover to begin with, you know? So this is pretty cool for a dollar, guys. In two weeks. All right, bro. Hit us up when you're here, man. Two that weeks. Way, that way we can we can kick you here at the... At the shop or somewhere else, bro. Don't matter. The next book we have to be Superman number 17. Look at that boy's neck, man. God. Look at dude's shoulders, man. That dude... He's been working out the he's been working out that back, bro. So Superman right here. Again, this is a book. If you're picking up Superman, I'm sure you're picking this book up. Cover A is decent. Uh cover B, it's not too bad. Adam Hughes, so you know, Adam Hughes has real, real cool, cool looking art. Looks real. Yeah. I, I mean, I like that it has Batman, One Woman, and uh <laughs> and Superman. Batman's always flying with uh, you know, since he can't fly, he's gotta use all kinds of, you know, techniques and stuff like that or, so, or toys. So Classic Geek said, appreciate the welcome. Follow you on IG. Thought I'd check it out. Well, Ben, thank you for checking us out, man. Um, yeah, we do this every Tuesday. Um, we have a shop here in Houston, R R, &R Comics. So um, if you ever come to Houston, you know, hit us up. Aside from that, if you are from Houston, swing by. You, you know, you besides getting to see the comic books, you get information like from a lot of the guys here on the chat. Um, yeah. like kind of like. You know, little spec books or first appearances. So it's cool to watch it, man. That way, whenever you're shopping tomorrow, you're kind of informed. You're letting everybody else do your homework. All right. And this this, was, this one here is going to be Event Leviathan number six. And, I mean, they even put on the cover, the man behind the mask revealed. So they're even hyping it up, saying that they're going to show off who Leviathan is. And let's see who the hell he is. So this, this book, man, was kind of slow, man. What is this guy? So soon, even Classic Geek is, is dropping some information too. Black is not just rumored to be popping up on HBO. Adds credibility if they're re releasing Black as Night. Dude, I hope so, man. I know they have a big deal with uh, um okay, no, with DC right now. So apparently, Le Leviathan kind of reveals himself, and I'm trying to figure out where the hell he does it. But you know, Pope, yeah, Pope, got... come on, bro. You said I want to hang out with Crypt of Castle Hill and Villain, but not us. Okay. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> All right, so anyways, apparently Le Leviathan is revealed in this book, guys. So if you didn't pick up the whole run, this is probably a good book to pick up. At least okay. this one, number six. Yeah, so you're six hours from Houston. Hey, man, you know, you're probably, uh, um, either if you're up north or, or, or south, man, um, whenever you come by here, man, just, just drop in and, and uh, come hang out with us, man. We've had people show up from, from YouTube to come hang out with us, man. And yeah, it's been hours here, man, and we just kick it with them. Yeah, like I said, the boy who had seven swung by, or Chino said that, so he's a really cool dude, guys. You know what book are they doing the Alfred tribute? All right, the next book. I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I was probably talking about the. Uh, well, I know Alfred. They snapped his neck, so I don't know if they did. Um, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they doing a tribute to him, but hey, genius, you know what's up. Let us know, man. Uh, the next book to be Far Sector number one, and I believe this introduces a new Green Lantern. So for sure, off the bat, you might want to pick this one up because they're bringing the show to HBO. I believe so. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't miss out on, on, on a on a new first appearance of a new Green Lantern. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'll swing by for a second. <laughs> All right, man. Oh, you know, Pope, you should tell Pope what you, what you, Ooh, what you bought the other day. I didn't tell you guys. Pope, what are you? I know he. We haven't sent you. We got busy, bro. I know I got to send you the, some Walking Dead. Look at that. So, this again, this introduces a new, a new Green Lantern. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's cover A. There's cover B, and there's cover C. Not all of them. I think cover C kind of reminds me of like kind of like an old, old, like a throwback of Green Lantern. So uh, there you go, guys. That's DC. So there's a lot of good books to pick up, man. Um, I think DC kind of, I think they, they kind of went off this week, which is pretty cool. It's about damn time. Uh, so I do want to say something 
He says he just needs that. He just needs that 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 one that one ninety one. Yeah, one ninety one. We got it. Uh, for for com- comic addiction, um, I will tell you guys one thing. One cool thing about owning the store, I think the the biggest uh thing that 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 we get surprised like by owning it or having the store is collections walking in. Man, we had an amazing collection so walk in last week. Man, um, literally. Bought the whole Walking Dead run from one to one ninety three. One ninety three, and, this- and it was missing like twenty or thirty issues, but up into hundreds. The easier um, ones to get a hold of. And the uh, number one, number two were nine nine point six CGC. So uh, maybe they come back nine point eight. We had to buy. <laughs> we had to buy it, man. So uh, it pretty much got me the second run that I that I was going for what's up with Cedric joe he said he's feeling that jacket chino so you got admirer out there chino uh chino wearing his jacket uh we can we can we can waffle this jacket if you're interested waffle it man uh, <laughs> a thousand bucks right now we got uh genius asking if we're gonna get that 125 or captain marvel number 12. i really doubt it because that's just a big commitment to get one book um uh, typically with that guys i mean if we don't pick it up what's so good about it uh well they entered well i mean all the like ever since they introduced uh kind of like the dark captain marvel like the evil captain marvel stuff like that, and star and stuff like that so yeah so that's been like their covers have been pretty much fire uh thank you villain yeah bro dude it just walked in bro literally walked in and it just sucks when people are are selling their collection because they need like you know well they need money for for whatever reason for whatever maybe. reason man so but we offered them something generous and something that 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 was a little bit over the middle of what he was asking so it worked out man yeah i think at the end i think everyone was happy um and i also gave him a a, a pop a magic boot pop sign so magic vegeta yeah yeah i'm so magic boot so look yeah magic, magic boot so we got pope asking manny do you need asm 28 first multi man i i have that one um i i do have that one pope um, I need to get with you. We need your, we need your whole box, bro. We just mad. We just no. I, I need to get with you, bro, Pope, because Chino talks and then he forgets what the hell he talks about. So I, I need to get with you on an individual level, and I'll give you Chino's collection of Walking Dead. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> look at one ninety one. Look at him. For, he, for he, looked, he looked like he wanted to cry. <laughs> All right, what do y'all want to see, guys? We have Marvel and we have Indies. Let us know what's up. Uh, no, I ain't villain. Manny needs a, a number one, bro. I was getting ready to send you one of my number one, but now I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> send it to me. If it comes back at 9.8, I'll give you 9.6. Oh, he, the cool thing about it is that he got the one. He has, you have what, two walking in number ones? Mm-hmm. So he has the black and the white label now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, What's your back issues of Spawn looking like? We don't have many in the back right now. We have, we have, a, we have a good collection. We have like two or three collections of Spawn. They're um, missing. They're missing books here and there. But if you're looking for something, uh, hit hit us up on Instagram, Closet Geek, and and maybe we might have it, bro. Um, so if you're looking for any specific numbers, let us know, and we might be able to help you out. So people want to see indies, bro. Let's do indies, man. Indies. I don't know. I don't know what the hell we're doing, but it seems like we're going heavy as hell with indies. But or maybe just people are picking up more indies, which is a pretty cool thing, guys. This is a pretty nice little stack. And we get halfway the, down to Indies, we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, we'll do one giveaway this week, guys, because I don't know what we have extras up. Um, and you know what? Let me see. All right, so the first book we're going to start off with is going to be Butcher Queen, number three. This is the first time I've received this book. Um, I don't know anything about this book, guys. Pope, you are the indie guy. You should know what's up, bro. Um, Butcher Queen, number three. And this is going to be by Red Five Comics. <clears throat> this is Butcher from... Um... From that show, uh, what's it called? Um, the Boys. The Boys, man. He he, he has those solo comic book. All right, the next book we have is gonna be by Cinescope. So you already know right off the bat, it's gonna be a fire cover. Um, they usually kill it on the covers. Um, it's gonna be Robin Hood number one, Vigilante. And right off the bat, guys, uh, this is gonna be a, a beater copy, not a reader copy, guys. So. I, I know I'm pretty sure. sure. You, make sure you get two, man. One you can read and one you can be. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so right off the bat, I know we have a. Uh, Paul probably going, you know, drooling on his phone. So, yeah. This is going to be just a cover buy for somebody, I would imagine. Uh, and, again, they're not in order, guys. So, yeah, they're not in order. So, the next book we have to be by Titan Comics, Robotech Remix, number two. So, Pope is saying the uh, Garvey cover. Of which one? He's probably oh. talking to the guys in the chat. 
No, he was talking about um that um folklore. Oh, um, I don't know. We'll get to it. I don't think we have it. What's folk folklore? I don't think we ordered that book. Is that a Marvel book or a DC book? You know, Manny's always trolling me, guys. All right, this one right here is fire. We got Burke in the fan. What's up? What's up, man? We have by Matt Cave, issue number one, RB9, and this is going to be a nice looking book. Period. Oh, and for everyone, uh, today is Burke's birthday. Um, due to old 45 years old wish that man had a birthday because you uh, know happy birthday man yeah this is a fire cover guys by matt cave um this is gonna be one I, I'm, I'm interested to read man um so it's pretty cool you can cover he was supposed to be part of the show but he's having dinner with the family and tonight he's gonna have a um he's gonna have something at 9 32. i think he got a hold of a grill or he or he bought a grill or something like that so yeah man can i see the edge of spiders number two in the back wall please genius i think you look at the wrong comic book shop bro <laughs> I don't see that Edge of Spiders number two. But you know who has one? If you're looking for one, it's going to be uh, Bake. Bake the Snake has one, bro. Oh, yeah. He does have one on Instagram. He has yeah, one. Yeah, so you Instagram. want one. He's selling it, bro. And his sign, bro. I think it's like double sign. So that's a good. I mean, again, you know, I'm just trying to refer somebody. If you, if you see something, man, you know. And what's up, Mark? Mark Spector. All right. The next book we have to be Doctor Who number one. It's going to be a special. Holiday special. Oh, yeah, speaking of holidays, this is about to be Thanksgiving. I'm ready to eat, man. Shit, I'm ready to eat some damn turkey. The next book is going to be by... It's All right, Jay. By. Thank you, bro, for, for stopping by. All right, hey, cool, Jay. Take it easy, bro. We'll see you tomorrow. We have Lady Mechanica, number four. Pretty cool looking cover, too, guys. Again, man, Indies have some cool-ass books, man. Uh, oh, and Acidic. This, uh, this sweater, bro, I bought it in Colorado, bro, and actually... I bought it at like at like a thrift store, Goodwill. So there you go. Yeah. It, it, it pays to hunt, bro. You got to hunt. Got to hunt at Goodwill too, man. Yeah. So the next book we have to be by Valiant, Doctor Mirage, number four. Burke said he's back next week. We'll we'll see about that, Burke. Burke, you talk a big game, Burke. You like going late, bro. I mean, I I won't be able to I, I won't be able to watch because I'm usually going to sleep kind of kind of early, bro. I wake up early as hell. I wake up like at four in the morning, so um, I try to stay up on the weekends. And by like midnight, I'm dead tired. So that's midnight is crazy for me. Uh, the next book we have is gonna be for Burke, my boy Ryan. I know they, I know they probably picked this book up. They should. Ooh, they're gonna fight over it. We yeah, have one copy. It's Go Go Power Rangers number twenty five. And she knows right. We only have one copy, guys. So Dennis, uh, Ryan, uh, Burke, all you guys, I'm gonna throw in the middle and I'm gonna say, have at it, guys. <laughs> the survivor, the, the the survivor will pick up this book. Hey, Genius, when are you coming to the store, man? Have you been out here? <sighs> Tom Bougie, I don't know. And if he has, he never told us. We need, we need you to come to the store, man. Come hang out with us. Yeah, and if you want to edge of Spider-Verse, I, I could probably ask Bait. He might there, there goes there goes someone already. Maybe. Or maybe someone's going <laughs> to come in here. Yeah. Someone's going to come in here and mug us. Where in CO did you visit on this trip? Oh yeah, you can tell it's cold because look, Julio's like covered up as hell. You cold, bro? Oh, Julio? Shoving outside all day, man. Really? What you been doing? Outdoors. Yeah. So. Oh man. Oh man. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, Bert. He says, "Look, my LCS is closing in two weeks, so I'm ready to start buying only with you guys." Oh, that's dude. Sucks, I bro. appreciate that, bro. Uh, Chino, Lone asked you a question. He said, "Chino, where in CO did you visit on this trip?" Uh, and I think he's just being real nice because. I don't think nobody gives a damn where the hell you went. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love Denver. Uh, well, I love I love Colorado. Um, so this this last time we were Why are you do that for, bro? Because <laughs> hey, he's been outside all day in the cold. Yeah, bro. man. I just use a sweater he want, bro. Mm -hmm. Was it going one of his sleeves? One of his arms or what? Um, so I, I don't I, hit me. <laughs> you like you already hit me. <laughs> I, I spent some time in um uh, this last time I, I I was in Colorado Springs. And we spent a few days there, half the week there, and then the other week we spent it over there in. Um, it's a good list, bro. Uh, what's it called? Um, sea of Stars, man. They Estate, Estate Park, Estate Park, or Estes Park, over there where where the Shining Hotel is at. Really? Yeah. Nice. Hey, Bert, tell your combo shop owner um, since he's going out of business, you know. To, uh, yeah, hit us up, bro. Hit us <laughs> up with, with those <laughs> keys, bro. We have a collection they they need to get rid of. Yeah, you, you know, if, if he's looking to get rid of some books. You know, but he better not. He better not jack up the price, bro. Monsters and coffee, bro. Monsters and coffee. 
All right, we'll check this one out. I know children like this cover. Oh, yeah. He's, he's already drooling. So the next movie has to be Elvira, uh, Mission of the Dark, number 10. And, uh, yeah. yeah. That is Now, I didn't try to cheat that, bro. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't try it, man. But uh, I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to try to make it uh, out there once a year, man. I love it out there. Speaking of, because yeah. he said this. Oh, so Combo Genius is, he's a fan of yours, uh, Julio. He says, Julio, nice to see you. Missing one person. Now it's going to be in it. Now it's going to get entertained. Oh, <laughs> so he basically, boring, that, boy, okay. that boy shot a slug at us and basically threw in the direct saying that, that we suck. Yeah, and and, and me. yeah, Julio makes a show and so does Paul. Uh, but I really think that uh, everybody, Carlos makes a show. When he's here, it's just more lit. So I like, Julio wants to get mad again. Don't hit me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Carlos is a you know we have right. uh, that guest appearance. Yeah, it's like those like those crazy you know one out of twenty five kind of variants. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. It only shows up for those kind of variants. Yeah. All right, the next book has by Image Family Tree. This covers oh, that, that shiny fire. Part two. Yeah. yeah what you cool. think about that girl, Rebecca Ferguson? She's hot, huh? Ooh, she wore that hat. <laughs> you guys are goofy as hell. Is that, is that the reason I watched the movie because of, of the girl? I did. That's what I too. Yeah. I went and saw it twice. Maybe the movie's good. It is good. All right, so look, this Pope, is this, is, gonna, this is one I, I want to read too, bro. So, and I like the cover. The cover's fire, bro. So, so yeah, that's a good one to pick up. Image, a lot of stuff gets picked up, guys. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's going to be Spawn 301, the second print. Oh, yeah. Was somebody asking for this? Last 300, the third, 300 print. the third print. Who you said he bought me one, though? You. Did you? Yeah. Where's mine? Uh, it's in the store. It's in the store. <laughs> All right. See how you are. Yeah, you're not getting any up. books in your box this week. Oh, and all of a sudden you don't have any books in there. Any money in your till this week. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next book we have to be Necro Necropolis Whoa. Whoa. Legion. Whoa. Number one. Now. <laughs> That's a tricky word. This is, I've never seen this book before in my life. This is a crazy looking book. Why did it just came out? But <laughs> but like I I don't remember I don't even remember seeing this in the. Uh, in the previews or like in the in the, in the order form, so that's no, that's, it must be a special order. That's that's that's, that's Michael for you. Probably went in there and he probably saw won. it and said, you know what, you get it for these. And, and this might just become the hottest book next, uh, tomorrow, and this arrow's gonna be going nuts for it, fifty bucks, give or take. So you never know. You never know. All right, the next book is gonna be Oblivion Song number twenty one. It's pretty double looking cover, guys. No, the whole thing. <laughs> Then we have Damn it, boy. we have Hellmouth number two of uh, five, and this is gonna be. I want to say this is uh this already came out. So this is a cover that that Julio really wanted. Which one? He's a big fan of Angel, so there you go, Julio. Oh man, Quality. Finally, he said, "I'm curious to read Necropolis and Family Tree." Uh, we do some readings at night, so every now and then we, you might get lucky and, and you'll catch kind of like a, a a rating review on there if if we have time to read. So yeah, it just depends. Uh, the next book will be Hit Girl number ten. Damn, that's still going. Yep. That is still going. Wow. I wish it did a uh, hit. Uh, uh, what's it called? A number three, a uh, kick-ass number three movie. This is pretty crazy. Only have two. So yeah. this one's called For Real they number do, one. They could do three. Actually. Is that really the price up there? Six dollars. Six dollars. For real? Yeah, for real. For real, it's six dollars. Is that an Atari shirt? Yes, it is, sir. As you can see, I'm wearing an Atari shirt. As you can see, my I got big ass pectorals, so I work out my chest. That's what he was doing right now. He was doing push ups and just worked out <laughs> right before the show started. All right, the next one is gonna be Silos number six. When when are me and Manny at the shop, dude? We're here be crazy in the afternoons, lady. man. Like I, I tell everyone, if you want to catch us, catch us here after four o'clock. Yeah, yeah. And if we're not here, I was here uh, all day today. Try again the next day. Here. Try the next day, and if we're not here that day, try again the next day. It just happens, man. It's just sometimes we. Sometimes I don't even get to make the damn shop. But it's uh, Wednesday for sure. It's probably what, the best day. And you catch it here. We're like the, we're like pawn stars, man. You just come in and, and we're recording every now and then. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> there you are. It's like you ate. It's, it's like you ate He's not that fat anymore. That is a burg. I mean, they're kids, bro. I mean, they don't know what Atari is. You probably know what it is because you're turning 45. So uh, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, bro. Uh, the next book we have Six is gonna four. be. Oh, please don't. No. Uh, Midnight Vista number three. It was about the same thing. How was? And we're about to fall our all our subs and they're gonna disown us. <laughs> this was pretty cool. This is Unsacred number one by Ablaze. Ablaze. These are the ones uh, uh, we were looking at earlier. Yeah, I was looking at this one because it's pretty crazy. You got an angel and then you got a devil, right? It's gonna be maybe cover. I could be wrong. 
But he looked like porn star. What? Porn stars. Whoa, whoa. 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 What shows he watched. Man, that's a crazy show, bro. <laughs> hey, speaking of, anybody got that Disney Plus yet? I did get it. We got, I got it free Ooh. on my phone. Oh, yeah, by the way. She gets it for free for a year. Yeah. Bam. Oh, then you it's like Jake. That's old, bro. It's already old. God. It came out like ten days, like ten years ago. So two thousand and late. Check this cover out, though, guys. This one right here, I think, is pretty nice. You know what? I got What's, free. I got free Disney Plus for a year. So if you have kids, I'm sorry, I should have told you to put some uh, blinders on them. Go look in there, see how how clean it is. Again, you clean? Yeah, he clean. Wait, he you clean or clean. Some fun, you paid somebody to clean? No, we, we he paid me to clean. There you go. I'll believe that. <laughs> All right, the next cover again. If you have kids, get them out. <laughs> Even warm. Look at this one. So yeah. Jason Austin 23. What type of books are you looking to buy? Single issues or runs or particular title? Um. Hey, there was a lot of Spider-Man. I need Spider-Man. Me, well, Walking Dead. Uh, I'm gonna start oh, my. Just bought them, no, I'm, I'm gonna start my, my third run. Of Walking Dead. So villain, good. send me that number one, bro, so I can get the third third one going. And, and if you want, he'll be your porn star afterwards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. To me, it's X Men, man. X Men. Anything has to do with X Men. Yeah, um, original, like the X Men. X Men, like the, the lower issues. Lower issues. Um, but we collect everything, man. We collect a lot of key books, a lot of Silver Age books. Um, I'm looking for that Jim eighty three. Anybody has that Jim eighty three for like ten bucks? I'll buy it. I'm glad for you cover, it. I'll buy it for cover price. So, Combo Jean is asking if you have that, that first whole second print. She, no, she don't got rid of them, bro. He he, he saw they were hot and he, he sold them and bought himself a so key. Come on, man. We're the type of a comic book store that we uh, hike up the prices, <laughs> put them out of your pool boxes, and uh, we sell them. So sell them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> sell them to, to Julio. <laughs> yeah. He buys a lot of our, 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 our overpriced books. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next book we have is by Boom Studios, and they've been kicking ass nonstop. Folklords number one. You guys were asking about it. What's we on the wall it. tonight? Um, dude, we have nothing at the wall. We have there's a few little books Let's here see. and there, but it's nothing, nothing Ghost crazy. Ghost Rider, Detective Comics, Fifty Five, Eighty, X Men, Ninety Five. Is that five books? No. They're all like it's affordable like books. Book. Honestly, they're all affordable oh, books. Oh, the font. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a font. Hundred. Let me see what cover this is. One hundred thirty, man. I got a hundred. One hundred thirty dollars out there, man. Y'all want to do a waffle right count. now, bro? First and second place, we'll split those books up. Amazing, you can't. First and second place, guy Lee, it's pretty smart. All right, so this is gonna be cover B, guys. Folk, uh, folk Lords. One, two. Three, pretty, four. pretty cool looking cover too, guys. There's eight books right there. You uh, see, look. Thanks, Kevin. We got, we got Hawaiian Punch in the house. What's up, bro? Oh, punch. What's and up, Punch? Uh, Samuel said, I think that will be good folk, folk Lords. I think so too. I think the cover's pretty damn cool to begin with. Where's Pope at? Pope was drooling all that part two or part B. He probably, he's probably driving around right now, driving home. Let's got, waffle. I'm ready. Oh shoot, Burke, Burke said he's ready for that waffle. Waffle, man. For the whole wall. One thirty. I can do a waffle. <laughs> Colin Robbie was in. He could do a waffle too. All right, and this is gonna be cover C, guys. I think this is gonna be the FOC variant. I think we got maybe one or two of these. Man, this is honestly. Huh? I found out about this one super late, yeah, yeah. and nobody requested this damn book. So what makes that look so good? Which one? I mean, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, because it's it's the iPhone 11 it makes it even better. And we have the one for store, guys. This one here, I'm not looking up on eBay, so I don't know what the hell is going for. But this is a dope ass cover, yeah. guys. It's a dollar book. Yep. Times a hundred. For you. Oh yeah. All right. We have Black Stars Above number one. That's a pretty looking, pretty cool looking cover too, guys. Is also number one. Oh, Black nice. Stars Above. Do you like this one better? Yeah. We could do twenty spots at seven bucks, man, and then we can do a first and second place, and we'll. We'll just balance out. Well, you the have books. you have the the you have the uh, the new Hulk's first appearance. Uh, I think his name is Cho. Cho. Uh, you have Angela's first appearance. You have a you have uh Anarchy's first appearance, I believe, and you have Spawn Number One. I mean, there's a few just decent little books there, man. I mean, they're all keys for the most part. And then you got the two per store X Men book. Um, so you know. There you go, man. Maybe. We can do twenty spots at seven bucks. Y'all want to get it going? Let me know. We have the next book. We have to be oh, Ru Ruans Ruans Ruins Ruins, but uh, it doesn't look like that's not how you spell ruins. So that way, that way we can update the wall next week. And I'll, I'll update it this week. If you <laughs> buy all those, I gotta bring new books. You. So this is gonna be number one. This is gonna be cover. Are the spawn cover new stand? Um, no, they are not new stand. I wish that Angela was new stand. I think it was like eighty dollars, hundred dollars all day. 
the newsstands are tricky as hell to find. They're like one in one hundred or more, dude. Uh, I have a, I have a decent amount. Like I mean, I have a pretty, really good amount of newsstands. <laughs> yeah, Congress probably say he takes seven spots. Oh shit! Oh, man. <laughs> God. All right, <laughs> this is gonna be cover D. Let's let's go through this and then we'll we'll start the waffle. Um, I forget. I, I don't even know if I remember. How I do the damn waffles. All right. We gotta get a list and everything. So. They even have a blank cover of it. Pretty cool. This one here, no idea, guys. I don't know if it's going to be any good. You guys are not really talking about this book, so who knows if it's going to be any good. It's going to be cover B. So far, I think I cover B on all of them. Maybe. Yeah, cover B. And this is going to be cover A. This one here, I don't know. Might be a sleeper. Who knows? No idea what it's all about. Ruins. Then you have Usagi Yojimbo, number six. <laughs> it's Ruans, bro. Oh, yeah? Ruans? Is R-U-W-A-N-S? Ruins. Ruins, Ruans, who knows? Yeah. Universe X, what's up, brother? Tomato, tomato. We have My Little Pony, Mine. number 84, cover A. And that's, just, that's a pretty cool looking cover. It's not too bad. You know you like it. I didn't say no. Well, you were like kind of looking like you were mad. What are you talking about? Uh, we have cover B. That's not a bad looking cover either, guys. So my little pony, man. If you pick it up, you pick it up. Pick it up. So Tom Bugina said that I, I guess I was right one in one hundred for the newsstands. And a lot of the um man, if you can I guess if you can get like some of those uh higher number of spawn. The ones that are kind of low print to begin with, and then you get a new stand. That's money all day, man. Yep. All right, so Burke said he's out. He has to go out with his family and eat. Have, again, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Burke. <laughs> Bueller favorite. Yeah, my little pony. Yep. The next book has a beginning falls number 18. You all right? Holy shit. <laughs> it's only getting colder. Yeah. The next book we have to be Vampirella, Red Song, and number three. Number three. Pretty cool looking little yellow cover. And we have another cover for it. Look at that. Damn, look fucking stocky shit. Look at this. You're wearing like five sweaters. <laughs> the last book we have for the independence would be Uncle Scrooge number 50. Scrooge. Yeah, that's a pretty good that's a double good cover, guys. Look at this Hey, bring me my uh, notepad, you know? We're going to do that giveaway, bro. And I know what I'm going to give away, guys. Is No, nah, I'm going to give away Julio. Wow. Not going to have Julio. All right, the next books are gonna be Marvel, guys. Let me go get my notepad because you know the boy lost. No, we had we had a thing. Oh, Where's Hawaii Punch at, man? This this is how you look, Hawaii Punch, when you work out, bro. Yeah, how you look. All right, so we're gonna do numbers again, guys. Today's date is. We're here, we're here, we're here. What is it? Where do the guys go, man? Let to get mine. No, I got my notepad. I have a, another notepad. It's a bigger notepad. You handy dandy notepad? Julio, you can't be part of this one because you can see the number. Uh, it's going to be one through 100, guys. Cheated. All right. And you cannot. Don't don't type anything in. Oh, let me show you where you're going to win, guys. And we're going straight to Marvel. You are going to oh, win. Oh, champ. He said he's waiting for that 1,000 book he won. Dude. Mm -hmm. he, please hit us, hey, hit us up, bro, on uh, Instagram. Hit me up, bro. And she I'm gonna say you hit him up, up but I, I don't know if you did. No, 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 he did, but dude, my shit, I'll move on. My, man, I get hit up by all, all kinds up. of uh, movie Dudes. movie directors, uh, uh, Dudes, trannies. You hit me up a lot too, bro. Oh, what's your fake account? Put your fake account out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do, guys, the first, well, the giveaway we're gonna do today, guys, is gonna be Tomb of Dracula number ten. The facsimile cover, though, man. You, don't, you, ain't, you ain't getting that lucky. But it's a hell of a damn book to have. Even the facsimile edition, I think it's damn pretty cool, man. So let's do 1 through 100. Wait till I type in. Wait till you see Chino type in. Ready, set, go. He's not paying attention. I'm tired. Is that it? All right. So 1 through 100, guys. You will get Tomb of Dracula number 10. And the facsimile cover. Let's see if anybody starts typing in numbers. 
23, 51, 23, 12, 33, number 477, Wolverado. You should like that name, Wolverado. That's a pretty cool <laughs> name, dude. Um, and I'm going to use my phone because that's usually better to use. 101, you are off, sir. You know number two, right? Julio? What? I didn't see another. Oh. I'm not in this. 65, 99, 89, 10, 65, 6, 67. No, guys. Dennis, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Dennis. Dennis is coming in for the for the free giveaway. Look at him. I leave. 145. No, one through 100. Oh, Jesus. Right there. Villain. Villain got it. 87 is the number, guys. Villain. Boom. What are you giving away? Uh, Tumor Dragon. Back in the cover. Go, Look, dude. You want that blade cover? There you go, bro. You got blade. Hey, we trade <laughs> you blade for your uh, walking dead number for one. Your walking dead number one. <laughs> one, two, and three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, the next. All right, guys, we're gonna do Marvel now. We right. have Age of Conan, Valeria number four. And if you're picking up this book, you like two subscribers here at our shop, so it's be three of you guys <laughs> picking up this book. Be lucky number three. Hey, it's not a hot seller, man. For us, at least it's not for us. For a free book, yeah, but then you always win, dude. It's like you take a break and you come back and you win again. What the hell, dude? I mean, uh, yeah, shit, man. That's that's a hot book to own, bro. That's a cool book to own, especially because the ones we have, they're they're nice as hell. Hey, uh, waffle people, besides a uh, uh, control people that want to buy seven spots, <laughs> you guys start letting me know y'all gonna want to run that. Yeah, if you're serious about it, let us know. We'll the whole wall, basically the whole wall, the wall is yours, huh? Well, the comic books, not pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the, it's the books on the wall. Uh, and, and and this guy will send you guys a a, a, a new pick right here. Yeah, it'll send, it'll send you a shirtless pick. So yeah, they should give us some something. Free preview, guys. Woo! A look. All right. <laughs> the next book we have to be Savage Sword of Conan, number eleven. I know what book I'm looking forward to. There's actually like two books here on the Marvel side, maybe three. <laughs> well, you know, the next book we have to be Star Wars Ooh. Target Vader, number five. I think there's a variant. That's nice. This is a cool ass. This is a dope ass cover, guys. Yes, sir. Dope ass cover, guys. You. And Lone said, "Shout out to the man today. Lost him one year ago." Oh yeah, Stanley. Oh, yeah, Stanley. Man. Because of him, we're you know we have all this, man. You know him and Kirby and and and, and Ditko and stuff like that, guys. I mean, you know they're they know they're making better comics. Probably yeah. We have Star Wars number seventy four. Oh, 28 people, man. We got 28 people on here, man. It's been a minute. We used to have about like 30 something, 40 people here. So, you're not just getting back at it. Man. We're getting back at it. You know, maybe they missed, maybe they didn't. Who knows? Uh, There's going to be another Star Wars 74. That's pretty cool. Chewbacca fighting Darth Vader. That's a dope ass cover, guys. So, you got Harry as Julio fighting, <laughs> fighting Paul. Oh, shit. Fighting Paul for uh oh, Paul. Well, for, the, hey, for the incentive variants. Paul we can reverse it if you want. Well, you Paul. know what? This is Paul. Paul's a Chewbacca. It looks more like him. He's got the fur. Color the coat. Uh, hey, guy, give it to the big. Hey, you just got yourself a, a free buck. Whoa. The villain says he can have it. He pre ordered two of them already. Cool. Uh, the, uh, wait, who's he giving it to? Uh, to Big Man, which is going to be Kingpin in the back. Yeah. I'm going to give him a Daredevil buck. Yeah, he's gonna still send you a shirtless pic. So, villain, you know, say, um, congrats, bro. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll get that uh, uh, DP going on. Uh, well, you can send it to you. Him, can, you can send him a DP. No, nah, one punch, man. Where's he at? I'm gonna need you. He I jumped in. He he took off. He probably going. Sure, he, he went to go work out. Motivated him. <laughs> <laughs> or he went to go eat some 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 burgers, some pizza, <laughs> some burgers. Yeah. Some that's not where the sweat. Some Hawaiian pizza. Such a tight. Yeah. 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 See the muscle. You can buy little kid sweaters. What do you expect? You took, this is how Batman. Hey, this is how Batman looks. He, found it he, he took my son's sweater, so that, you know. Damn. Yeah, y'all about the same height anyway, so it kind of <laughs> makes sense. All right, the next one we have to be Agents of Atlas number four. Yeah. You like it? This is Ooh. this is gonna be the Wedding of Spider Man and Black Cat Annual number one. Like, this is gonna be uh, a one shot J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, he, he can draw. Uh, really well, so yeah. So this one here is pretty cool. Um, covered by all day Spider-Man book anyway. So he drew Black Cat really nice. Uh, the next book we have to be Black Panther in the uh, Ages of Wakanda. How's that doing? Number three. How's it doing? Not too hot. Like 
two subscribers, three subscribers max for this book. Um, That's a win here. Oh, he's still there. Right. Probably trolling right now. I'm watching this. <laughs> he's working out his, with, with five, five pound dumbbells. No, no, two pounds, two and a half pounds. Uh, breaking the sweat. That's how you get cut, though. Yeah. So the next book we have to be Marvel Tales Doctor Strange, number one. Of course you do. That's a, nice That's a dope ass cover, Doctor Strange. It's a very dope cover. That's a cover. So I'll say Spider Man gets Me Too in the, that book. Oh, shoot. We got to be careful, bro. He, he needs to be careful, Spider. You know he's using he's abusing that power, bro. What what is what is uh what is Uncle telling, bro? With great power comes great responsibility. I guess he just abuses. Oh, he said it. you don't you don't have to take a picture of him. Oh. He said he he can keep the picture. Oh, now you're gonna use. Send so it to Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Pope. How are you gonna use a filter? This book is pretty cool. Fallen Angels number one. I mean, with those oh, look, we got a boy Ace Town in here too. I didn't see a murderer. Who oh, Ace Town? Yeah, he's in there. Are we getting the? One in fifty Morbius. Um, no, we're not, sir. But eBay is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no man, we're not. not like, are we fifty all... covers of Morbius. Come on, bro. Why would we? Easy. That's that's too hard to buy. Kind of got a point. We don't. We don't. I mean, would you buy fifty? You know what? We can get the one in fifty if Paul buys twenty five copies, and then Julio buys twenty five copies. Well, I gotta buy twenty five copies. <laughs> no, no, support your store, bro. Yeah. yeah so you don't want LCS good. to go under like like Barks, bro. Yeah, that is, that is pretty sad though. It's that's LCS awesome. going on. I mean, it happens, man. It's, but you know what? That's probably the reason why, bro. Because they're get, they're fishing for those one fifties, one one hundreds, bro. There's no need for that unless you're sending people. Unless you have, you know. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> there's people here that come and they tell us like, hey, I want that one in one in fifty, that one in one hundred, and I'm gonna buy so many books, and they get that book. But yeah. if no one comes to us and tells us that, it's no point, man. <laughs> the villain said he liked that. What? He says, <laughs> he says, haha, that was a good one, bro. No, but eBay does. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, I, I, I do it. You know, like if there's a cover that I really, really like, and I know I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna get it here at the shop because it just that doesn't have the demand for it. I'm gonna go on eBay. Or I'm gonna look at some of the auctions and see if some, some of the guys picked it up. You know, and it's. You're looking for for a certain book that might be your best option you know now if it was like back then when super Surfer black came out you know we could commit to that because we had like at least 30 subscribers for the book you know yeah it's easier to do but for so you'll, 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 you'll see you'll see those man here depending on the demand at the store so you, you will catch some one in 100s one in 50s but not just like young a little character so this is gonna be fallen angels a young guns variant and this Damn. variant is hot beautiful bro Man, and I'm buying all. I'm a sucker for X Men right now, so I'm buying all these X Men. Yeah, I'm picking up all these. Uh, Everything. Only certain starting lines have been good though. I Morbius A, B, and C covers are good for. Doing. I agree with you, villain, and you see them right now. Um, we also have the every single mutant in the world and no, ever not, created. Who no, the hell? No. Knows? That's not everyone. No, no but it's because like it's it's a whole bunch of connecting variants. Oh yeah. Oh, and okay. it's something that I think like maybe I think uh, Contraw people he picked up these variants. So he is able to connect all these books, X Force, New Mutants, and so on, and he can make the big ass collage of uh, all the mutants. Cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Guardians of the Galaxy number eleven. I heard this is a really good read, guys. Of course, Donny Case is doing it, so pretty cool. He's back on it. Yeah, he's been on it. This is something he's doing. And, I mean, you know, he 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 does have a damn job. Um, just cover A, and then you got the twenty ninety nine variant. Nice. Star Lord twenty ninety nine, guys. I agree with you, uh, Wolverado. <laughs> hey, it's cool. oh, cool. Yeah, cool. Wolverado. Another Wolverine guy. Yeah. Wolverado. We have History of the Marvel Universe number five. You got all the old school X Men on there, and then you got a Gladiator Hulk. See, villain, that's why that's why I like you, bro. I'm getting all those X Men covers too, bro. Every single X Men right now, I'm picking it up, man. I'm I'm, I'm big on X Men, so you know. The next one we have to be Invaders number eleven. <clears throat> I mean, going back to Morbius, man, um, they got some cool covers. We're off the bat, guys. With Mor we have Morbius, number one, The Living Vampire. And the cover itself sells it. And I think, you know what? I think there's a first appearance in this book. Let's mm -hmm. find out. Well, you know what? Let me show you this, guys, first. I'm going to show you the main cover. This oh. is cover A. So, this, I mean, this looks like a 1 in 25 cool. variant, honestly, guys. So, off the bat, if you want that 1 in 50, I'll probably just do this regular cover, man. I think this cover's fire. You know, and it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, we good. do have some racial variants that we're gonna show you guys at the end. 
double looking, looking interior art, but I want to say there's a new introduction of a new character or someone that's been here before. Yeah, mm. Morbius looks messed up. Looks like me. Wow, now. here you go. Yeah. Do y'all know who that is? Please let me know. Isn't that Elsa? Let's know. Don't know who that is. No idea. But that's a fire, fire cover, guys. Cover A. Cover B is not too bad. Cover C is dope, too. Yeah. And then cover C is damn cool. This got to be cover C, I believe. No, it's like cover. I don't know if this is like a one in something. Who's a writer? Um. This one's fired. I don't know if this is an incentive variant or just a regular cover. Maybe they have like, you know, you know the thing with Marvel, they do like 25 covers for a book. Yep. But this cover is damn nice. Yeah, the the, the oh, interior my. art is actually pretty damn good. I don't know, is, is it Vita Ayala, the writer? Yeah. Vita Ayala, Hispanic. Usually you, you could, you own, could be, yeah, writer is Vita Ayala, and then the anchor is Robert Poggy. <laughs> Just saying that three times. Yeah, so this is a this is a badass cover, dude. Badass cover. So you know what? I might check out Morbius. Um, at least the first one. Yeah, the next book we have to be. Doesn't hurt. I mean, nah. The next book we have to be Punisher Soviet number one, and this is a okay looking cover. It's interesting. Uh, if you're a Punisher fan, I'm sure you're gonna pick this one up. Yeah. So look, uh, a city chosen interior artist, um, and I won't use the F word because you know kids watch the show. She doesn't. She doesn't care. He's He's a, he's, he's a rebel. Um, yeah. But man, interior art, it is fire, bro. Who's the writer? So, yeah, um, this is going to be Spider Verse second printing, number one. Mm. And if you guys didn't know, Walmart has an exclusive cover, and it's, it's the first cover appearance of uh, Spider Man Zero. So that's the one if you might want to be looking out for. And I think they sell like a, like a pack of books for like 10, like for like 10 bucks, give or take. But the, you'll, you'll know the cover is in there because it's the first book. On the on the on the pack. Mm. So, but I mean, go to Walmart after this and buy them. Buy well, the thing is, them. they introduced uh, they introduced you know Spider Man Zero in this in this book. So, second print, it's not a bad investment because usually you know they usually drip, they usually dip a little bit on, on the second prints, mm. the print run. The next book we have is gonna be X Men number two. So yeah, this is gonna be one I gotta read tonight. Um, For sure, I was trying to read it earlier, man. Jonathan Hickman on this damn thing. So yeah, I need to get to it. We have two variants for this for, for Marvel that I know that are center variants. We have we'll start with this one first. This to me has been weak as hell for for all the new books Damn. that came out for X Men, for New Mutants, for X Force, for oh. you name them. Fallen Angels one and ten variant has not been that great. No. Honestly, this is hard to sell for for more than eight dollars. So yeah. this probably go for like six seven bucks more. Somebody bought, wants it. It's a one in ten variant. It is what it is. This is gonna be the one in twenty-five variant, I believe, yes. for X number two, and you got Wolverine. So there you go. See, we do get some of these. these. There you go. So aside from that, guys, what else? What else you got going on, Chino? Uh, nothing else, man. I mean, we just got a lot of catching up to do, a lot of reading to do. Um, mm -hmm. go work out first. Um, but that's that's about it. What about you? What you got? Just waiting on the Disney Plus and uh... why it came out today. That's why I'm gonna watch it. Oh, yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, the 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 Disney Plus was out this morning, and there was issues already yeah. with the login. It's because everybody was trying to log in at the same time. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with it on my iPhone. My iPhone. Chino thinks he works for Apple. He doesn't. Um, so aside from that, I mean, I, I I'm gonna go home and check out some of that stuff too. So yeah, my LCS has a maximum one in ten for filled up for cover price. Yeah, dude. I mean, I might even do six dollars for it. I guess that's cover price. Um, it's hard. That's a hard sell. Do usually for the one in tens, they got to do something different than that. That looks like a damn. That looks worse than the main cover. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the hell do you expect us to, to to sell that for anything else but cover price or even a dollar more over cover price? Well, so, pay for it, ten bucks? No. Do you want it? No. You see? Chino said, "Hey, comic book genius said you're sponsored by Apple." Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> this is not a Batman logo. It's really a an Apple, Apple. logo. Apple everything, bro. Apple, yeah. So he thinks he's Apple. Apple underwear, Apple. Ugh. Apple all over the place. Rod and Apple. Yeah, Rod and Apple. All right. So um, besides that, um, it looks like I don't know. We we got. You got the Rick and Morty first episode. Yep. CBR success. It. it was good. Yeah. 
So let's waffle. Okay, so comment from people. I know you don't want to do the waffle. We got 20 yeah. spots. Let's give it a few minutes. That's a pretty good looking cover, man. You want to bring those books down? Which one? This entice these people. Oh, all the books on the back. All of them? Yeah. Yeah, man, you could be writing on those numbers on one one page. You keep using a new page for new numbers. I don't like to mix it up, man. Uh, you right work back. on those calves, bro. I do work on those calves. We'll all be squatting about 500 pounds, bro. I get Julio on my back and just go. Oh, wow. And you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last we saw of Chino. All right, so let me see if we can get 20 spots filled up, man. Oh, what's five? All right, Lone, take it easy, bro. Tattoo of Apple. He has it on his on his uh lower back, bro. So you want to come check tramp it out stamp. in person so we can buy the shop, bro. It's tramp, the tramp stamp. Collins Rock people said he wants seven spots. Man, I don't even remember how to do the damn waffles. Hold up. Cool. Crap. Cool. 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 Seven dollars gets you four books, basically, man. Four books? No, how many books is it? On the back wall? It's eight, so we're gonna split them in half. Oh, okay. So that's basically what it is. We should just do a first place. That'd be nice. You can, but I want more people to win. As it's always, uh, I'll throw in a Chino's mathematics is always wrong. It's mm -hmm. nine books in here. So. Oh, it's nine yeah, books. Hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Well, how about we do this, bro? Which one I want to keep? <laughs> hey, let, how about we do this? Uh, second place. Second place gets this awesome Fallen Angels one in ten variant, dude. Take this one out. One, one. Hey, you gotta have to waffle with this one. Hey, yeah, you have to pay with the waffle. It's not even on the spot. All right, you didn't want to see the book, so. Hey, check this out. Second place gets uh, this ah, one in ten. <laughs> second place prize. This this one in ten variant we of uh, Fallen of Angels number one. Dennis is there. <laughs> no, we don't have. We don't, I don't have any extra copies of the Sky. I don't. I don't think I have an extra that copy. Nice. This issue number two hundred. You have. The totally awesome Hulk. This is gonna be a one in twenty five variant. The reason it's so cheap. The reason I have it priced so cheap is a ten dollar book, and their speculation is gonna come out pretty soon in the movies. Everybody speculated, but there's like a it's a beautiful looking book, but it's like a like kind of like a printing error on the on the spine in a few different places. But again, it's a one in twenty five variant. So yeah, that one. Yeah, spawn number ten, and all these books really are in damn good condition. You have Spawn number one. Spawn number one. You have Detective Comics number six hundred eight. You have a one. In, you have a one in ten variant of Ghost Rider number two. That's nice. Flame Crane. You have Spawn number nine. Angela first appearance. You have a one in twenty five variant of uh, Venom number nineteen. Agent. Agent Venom. That's that's just a damn fire cover. And you have X Men number. Number wow. one, the Super Store variant. So it's quite a bit of books. It's very good. Yeah. The winner can pick the, the books they want. If we can get enough people for it, for sure. Uh, if we can get enough people to sign up for the uh, waffle. So, so you really, all I have to fill in is 13 spots. We'll give it a few minutes. So you guys are enticed by these uh, sexy books. $7 can get you Gina, four books. Or five, well, I guess I'll, I'll, throw in, I'll throw in one of these. Uh, I'll throw one of these in center. Throw in the ten. <laughs> Listen, this one. Just hey, it yeah, this one. One in ten variant, bro. I'm what joking about play? it, but that can go in the in the, in the pot. And you, touch that? you want some? Yeah. All right. I better see it gone by tomorrow. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, what numbers? Y'all want to start claiming numbers? Let us know what's up. See, if we can kind of keep this thing going. Yeah, start putting numbers up there. Well, they can type it in. Just that's plenty of people on here. That's plenty of people for for a waffle. You, not bad looking set of books, man. Comics. A, what what numbers do you want, bro? You want seven spots? Damn, boy. Not playing around. We ain't messing around today. This is things going cheaper than the auctions, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You what up? Well, we haven't done an auction in a minute, but yeah. we'll come back. We'll come back to it. We got a lot of books, man. Yeah. A lot, a lot of books. Dennis, I'll find out about the uh, skies over East Berlin. If not, I'm pretty sure that uh, Michael can order that for you, bro. It shouldn't be too, too, too hard to track down. Yeah. Um, it's more like those, um, 
those hot ass books that that you go to second print, then you just got to settle for a second print. But I know you just pick up your books to read anyways. Well, Confer people said he wants two, six, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty, and five. God damn. Yeah, he picks seven spots. Yes, Julio, what spot you want, Julio? Uh, I don't know. Pick a number from one to twenty. You said you have it. You said you, you said you were gonna you were gonna pick a number. What which one did you want out of this out of this batch? This batch. That one? That one? That one. Oh I do like that one. You do like that one? I do like that one. This I mean this is gonna be the one that's Stop. more limited because oh. it's two per store. It's not like you can get a hundred books. That one was here. You you bought it? Somebody bought it? The only thing I said that one. Oh. Oh no, it's a bad. I didn't even know you had that. It's a badass book. That is pretty cool. And just the X Men books, all, anything with Jonathan Hitman has been has been. Uh, you left handed? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. left handed. Oh, nice. It's been keeping it's been keeping up pretty much like on. Um, it stays hot, you know, like those uh, House of X, Powers of Ten. Oh man, they're still hot. Yep. Oh, I saw one. Oh, I saw House of uh, House of X number two, uh, nine point eight slab. I think it went for like one fifty or, or or something like that. One seventy. Dang. So. Numbers have been jotted down. There's 23 people on here. I know you guys want to bet on it or pick a Who's number. The next auction, you know? the next uh, auction uh, we will announce it when we're ready to do one. Right we now, got, we got cool books, man. We have a lot of books, and yeah, we, we're kind of getting kind of warmed up, but we'll have one soon. We'll, yeah. have, we'll, we'll probably have two more before the year ends or three. Yeah, and I mean, I know Thoral, Big Lion Cat. I even saw Strictly Comics is doing auctions too. Um, I know a lot of people are doing auctions anyway, so uh, it can not be some Yeah, there's a lot of damn good deals, man. So if you're looking for for an auction, it's not hard to find one. No, it's not. Um, but you know, I know if you want to see a Chino and Manny auction with guest appearance by Julio and Paul, you know, that's that's a different kind of animal itself. You know, what X Men book are you talking about? What X Men book here? It's, it's the one that came out. It's X Men number one that. Uh, for the new series, it's a two per store. That's part of the. Uh, how much is that X Men book? Uh, fifteen bucks, bro. I mean, you, you comic might, books. Comic shop people say I'm just gonna buy the damn books. Yeah, you got fifty bucks. You just spent fifty bucks right now, bro. Nobody wants to participate. Yeah, man. Yeah, that one. That's fifteen dollars, bro. Let me know if you want it in the box. Um. Let me know what else you might might want, Tom Shaw people. I Looks like you guys don't want to eat waffles today. Um, this is a totally different animal. Yeah, the genius like I think he likes the. Uh... Yeah, y'all can buy y'all can buy uh, uh, the books. We're just trying to get get rid of all the books that everybody was asking about waffle. Yeah, they're asking about a waffle. Hey, if you want to buy the city Joe, let me know, bro. It's fifteen dollars, bro. So that one, villain. I'll give it you later, bro. Have a good night, bro. You have. Let me these books are on the wall, guys. I told you. It's a $10 book. Yeah, nice. Playing Crane, Ghost Rider. Y'all got the one waffle. Y'all can claim the books. The Venom really team, good. Agent Venom. That's a really good one. I take it. So, Connor people has that one. Okay. I know comics. Uh, Connor, we will do that for Bobby. And we're just putting your box, bro. It's a badass book, man. X Men 1. <laughs> I said to Joe, I said, I'll ask, I'll ask you about it. Hey, man, you, you got to pull the trigger ASAP, City Joe. You sleeping, dog. What the hell are you doing? You come to the store, bro. Yeah, man, it was on the wall. I've been having the wall. Yeah, I have been having All right, so this one, this one's slam. Any, anybody interested in any Spawn books? Any? Anybody interested in uh, any of these books? Spawn number 10. Claim, claim, slam. The Totally Awesome Hulk, 125. Again, it's a ten dollar book because of, of and it's not a it's not a it's not a it's a defect from the printing process. It's not really like a defect because it's a printing. I, I, yeah, it's a printing. It's a printing. Oh, so long as you go for more money too. Well, it's it's, it's I don't know Man. if you can see it. Let me see. It's tricky to show it. Hey, so you can kind of see you see you see on the spine. It's a beautiful looking book, but you can kind of see that little color issues and it's not because i you know i was filling up on the book and like that it's just because it's a printing it's a printing issue you know it's ten dollars ten dollars so that one is ten dollars you're gonna break the bank no i mean it's the first appearance uh, it was the first it's the first appearance i want to say the first appearance if not is like the first 
uh, ongoing series of, of, of the New Hope. Um, I'll put these books on the back wall, guys. It Con probably will say how much for the Hulk. It's ten dollars, bro. Ten dollars for the Hulk. The Hulk. Yeah, it's a badass looking cover too, man. If you guys want to see some good good books next week? We'll put some better ones up there, man. We'll put some bigger books next next time. I usually put books up here that are gonna, you know, ain't gonna break the bank. Five, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, something you kind of have in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Um, I usually try to bring in some bigger books. Depending on the events, he like the Hulk too. Well, there you go. Put that over there for him. Who's that for? Colin for all people. Colin for all. Hulk. Man, he's gonna end up buying all the books. Pretty much. The <laughs> the Texas Comics six oh eight. This is the first appearance of I want to say Anarchy. I I, I might be wrong. Uh, I want to say Paul had one of these books a while back. And he, he got rid of it quick. I think mm -hmm. flew off the flew off the flew off the auction for like 15, 20 bucks. Yep. It's a nice looking book again. It has like two or three spine sticks. That's it. Beautiful looking book. Um aside from that, guys, if there's anything else. Catch us next week. Catch us next week, guys. Um we are fixing a call it a night. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'm gonna go home and eat. We will be doing our, our giveaways again next week. we we'll, we should know more more by next week what we have available um now that we're, we're spending more time back at the store yeah uh books that i would probably recommend picking up is gonna be x number two fallen angels uh maybe the morbius check it out especially that's the first appearance jay uh, don't worry about it bro we, we, we'll do more giveaways next week um he said just he just made it back oh, okay um on the <laughs> indies i'm gonna check out folk lords um i'm gonna also check out that that our what was that one book with the with the, with the chicken in the cover Jeff, send me a message right now, bro, on, on Instagram. I forgot the book with, with the with the chicken the cover. Not 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 this one. Uh but the other one with, with, with the cover. Um send it here. It's um oh shit, what's my name? What's your name? Just send it to Chino Comics more because I can read that one. And yeah, IG, that yeah. way I take the pressure off of you for for you know. Oh, you know what? I'll probably pick this one up too. The spawn through a one second print. So I'm gonna circle for spawn. Family tree by image. It's gonna be a good one to pick up. And da, 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 da. this one, RV9. That's interesting looking book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then for DC, probably gonna pick up Far Sector. Uh, anything with the dark multiverse. Yeah. Books and it's really probably oh, it, man. Out. Dark I'm gonna. I, I mean, Green Lantern chick. Yes. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that uh far sector um let's say to Joe. So I just got, giving you guys a few ideas of what to pick up. Uh, you you can champ. You can hit us up on on Instagram, bro. Um, uh, anytime, bro. Hit us up right now or, or later on. Um, that that other one doesn't. Uh, um, Manny Manny runs it. Um, I run it for the most part. If not, she knows on it once in a while. Um, so I'll respond back. And if and since we do we owe you that book for so damn long, I'm gonna send you something else. No, we'll send you something good, bro. Something something juicy. And call straw people, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you these two books in your box, bro. And keep an eye out because I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you a little surprise in, 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 in your uh whenever you whenever you, you, you uh pick up your books, when we ship them out to you, you, there's gonna be an extra book in there too, okay? Something that I think you would really enjoy. What's up, comic ace? Uh, aside from that, what's up, Comic A's? You caught us at the end, bro. Catch the rewind, brother. We're back. We're <laughs> back. Hit the like button. Share the damn channel. Uh, subscribe to the damn channel. Let's get back to it. We're roll to 1,000. We'll make some time this week to do the giveaway for the 750 mm -hmm. um, that we need to give away. And we still have to do the Chino Manny boxes. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of stuff to do, man. It's just making the time for it is tricky. Um, aside from that, that's Julio. That Chino. Yeah, want some work. Yeah, want me to bring a giant size X one? Let me know next week. Yeah, I'm adding. Big ass waffle. Yeah. That I, giant size X one is going for some money right now. Yeah. Anything with X one is going for money. Yeah. Stop from that, guys. I think we're out, man. All right, fellas. We're out. <laughs>